Good morning everybody. I am Dr. Meenakshi Sundaram from Chennai. Today we will see about diabetes and heart attack. See, as I told earlier, diabetes is not only increased blood sugar level. Diabetes is a cardiovascular disease risk equivalent. Which means, diabetes is equivalent to having a heart disease already. So, diabetic patients are more prone for getting a heart attack. And if the blood sugar is not under control, diabetes can affect the eyes, heart, kidney and feet, and blood circulation and brain also. So we will have to be very careful. So what diabetic patients should do is keep their blood sugars under very good control, keep their blood pressures under very good control, keep the cholesterol under good control. If they are smokers, they should stop smoking. And then they have to do regular exercise, and reduce their body weight, maintain their ideal body weight. These are all very important to prevent a heart attack. Apart from this, we now have very good drugs which can give a heart protection and kidney protection. They are called as SGT2 inhibitors and GLP-1 analogs. They can be used to protect your heart which your doctor will be prescribing you depending on your condition. Second thing is, regarding heart, diabetic patients may not get classical chest pain like non-diabetic patients. So they may or may not get chest pain. They may have something called angina equivalence. Instead of having a chest pain, they can have breathlessness, they can have burning sensation, they may have symptoms resembling gastritis. So we need to have a high index of suspicion in a diabetic patient. Because of diabetic neuropathy, chest pain may not be there all the time. So don't think that since chest pain is not there, it may not be due to the heart. Anything around the chest, if you have got any symptoms, if you have got any sweating, breathing problems, uneasiness, immediately seek medical attention, see your doctor. <coughs> very, very important. And do an ECG. If the ECG is normal, then they can do other investigations like echo, troponin, later. But if the ECG shows acute heart attack, then it is an emergency. Here, the most important concept is time is muscle. Every second you save, you can save the heart muscle from getting damaged. So, urgently you should go to a hospital which has got the facilities for angioplasty. That is called a PCI enabled hospital, which is very, very important. See, the problem in the heart attack is there is a thrombus occluding the blood vessel completely and causing the necrosis of the heart muscle. So, the most important thing to do is to open the blood vessel and the best way to do that is to do an angioplasty. Today in Chennai, at least in all metropolitan cities, we have got several hospitals, we can do it within 30 minutes. So you go, go to hospital, they can do it within 30 to 90 minutes, they can open up the blood vessel and save your heart. So that is the most important thing. Supposing if you are in a periphery or you are not able to access the PCA enabled hospital, at least go to a hospital which can give a thrombolytic therapy. They can give you either streptokinase or urokinase which are older drugs or they, they, they can give newer drugs like alteplase, tenecteplase, etc. Which will, which will lyse the clot and open the blood vessel to some extent and which will buy time. Later you can go to a bigger hospital and have an angioplasty done within 24 to 48 hours. This is called a pharmaco-invasive strategy or hub and spokes model. So first we give a thrombolytic therapy, open the vessel, save the myocardia, buy time and then go to a bigger hospital and have the angioplasty done. So in acute heart attack, angio nothing to beat angioplasty, that is the best to save heart muscles and lives. So you have to remember this. Even, uh, even after the heart attack comes, you should be careful to continue the medications regularly and have a periodic follow up with your doctor. Today in 2022, we have got excellent drugs. Even if the patient with reduced heart function, we can improve the heart function too significantly by using drugs called RV, SGT2 inhibitors, beta blockers, MRAs, etc. which are called as the pillars of heart failure therapy. So be careful, take care of your health, have a regular follow up with your physician so and live a healthy life. Thank you.